The built environment really means, um, in, in terms of our construction today, that there's going to be elements of concrete. Concrete is pervasive within society in general. In fact, um, the aggregate market, the, the, the materials that we use to make concrete is the most consumed commodity in the world, only below water. The production of concrete is energy intense. Um, therefore, we need to find ways to lower its carbon emissions. And one of those ways is bringing in materials, new materials into the industry like fly ash and slag and a number of things that can really drop that carbon load. Um, so that's the area that low carbon content concrete can have the effect on the built environment. If we can reduce that emission loading, then we can reduce the risk of climate change and we can create climate resilient buildings and climate resilient um, built environments. Concrete contains cement, and the production of cement is, is energy intense. And that energy manifests itself in, into the potential for climate change. It, therefore, we have to find ways to lower that, that impact. And if we can find lower impact methods, low carbon concrete methods, then we can affect some of the SDGs directly, specifically those related to climate change, those related to land use, those related to, to energy consumption, those related to, to consumption in general. So low, low carbon concrete is, is an area that requires and is getting um, a lot of focus in order to bring it down to reasonable levels and hopefully net zero levels. The construction industry in, in the past, uh, specifically the concrete and cement industry, have been perhaps somewhat insular. And what we need to do now is we need to collaborate across the entire public and private waste stream and, and, and collaboration stream in general to figure out how can we bring all of these parties together to, to reach these, these ambitious goals that we have for net zero. We really need to understand the needs and in order to be able to move forward with these huge goals of decarbonization. And so if we can create public-private relationships where everybody's pulling in the same direction, we'll likely achieve them. Okay, and when you get those kind of collaborations just right, the results can be, can be important. How could we take an, a, a, an environmental problem so huge as a plastic problem, but use it to absorb CO2 in the process, divert plastic from incineration, but then turn that into a long-term valuable asset that can really help our communities grow. Well, now that plastic we turn into a concrete aggregate substitute, turn it into a zero waste additive, lowering the concrete load, and then we can pull that in into the building sector, the built environment. We can clean up a, a dilemma, a, a tragic plastic dilemma, and then we can turn that into a valuable and appreciating asset. The potential of low carbon concrete in the built environment is fundamental in reality. We have to focus on how can we improve our emissions, how can we improve our utilizations of materials, of appropriate materials. So low carbon concrete really represents the future of humanity.